Imagine, if you will, a body of water. Not just any body of water, but one that existed hundreds of millions of years ago. One would be forgiven for the temptation to look around. Maybe there are some grazing stegosaurus unknowingly being stalked by a ceratosaurus, but our attention is going to turn back to the water. Skimming across the top is something not entirely unfamiliar to modern man small aquatic insects. Of all the things around at the moment, they may seem like the most unassuming. Maybe they dive into the water and at most, you think it's interesting that in the far distant future, there will be similar insects with similar habits. Even if you're observant enough to notice the cluster of eggs clinging to a dino leg. But it is exactly this detail that paleontologists recently discovered on fossils unearthed at the Haifengu Formation that have experts excited over what this means for our understanding of the evolution of life on our planet. I'm Eric Malachite, and today on Science Cut, we're going to be looking at this recent discovery in China and learning a thing or two about parental behavior in nature along the way. Right off the bat, I'm going to put up a disclaimer that although we're discussing fossilized insects, that doesn't mean that there will be any mention of dino DNA. DNA is an organic matter that breaks down over time like anything else, and with a half-life of merely 521 years, that means that after millions of years, there's nothing to genetically extract from even the most amber in case specimen. Sorry to all the aspiring John Hammonds of the world. But what we lack in legally questionable offshore amusement parks, we gain in, you know, actual knowledge about long extinct life forms. And I'm sure that Wayne Knight and Sam Jackson are among those who think that's a worthy trade-off. Haifengu Formation in northeastern China is a notable location in the world of paleontology. It's a fossil-bearing rock deposit from which a number of discoveries have been made. This most recent one regards an extinct species of water bugs with the elegant name of Keratavila Kera, Kera Pup. It's on screen. Really, it just rolls off the tongue, yeah? Researchers analyzed around 160 fossilized specimens that dated to about 160 million years old, which would land them somewhere in the middle of the Jurassic period. Of them were 30 adult females with egg stalks on their left mesotibia, essentially the middle leg on the left side. The eggs were densely packed in staggered rows, with six to seven eggs in a row and about five or six rows on a leg. They were only about 0.04 to 0.05 inches across, which doesn't seem big until you consider these buggies were only half an inch long. The eggs likely contained ample nutrients for their offspring but would have had a difficult time providing enough oxygen due to a low surface area to volume ratio. Having them on the leg may have been the solution to that by allowing them to jiggle on their stalks, which would have let in a steady flow of oxygen from the surrounding water. Before laying their eggs, K. papavi females are believed to have secreted a sticky mucus onto the desired leg before performing what the study authors refer to as specific bending movements of the abdomen to make sure the eggs hit their mark. They also think that the opposite leg may have been kept free for balance. Some of my more sagacious viewers may be asking at this point, what makes this such a big announcement? This is where the discussion of parental behaviors comes in. Saying an animal lays eggs is a blanket statement that obviously overlooks a lot of nuance. Birds lay eggs, but they don't do what I described in the previous section. They build nests to keep their eggs safe from predators. That is called, of all things, nesting. Whereas some animals have evolved to care for their brood on their person, or brood care. By definition, brood care is an altruistic trait that evolved to enhance the fitness of offspring at a cost to the parents. It takes many forms among many different species, although it is its most prevalent in insects and crustaceans. What isn't common, however, is the asymmetrical nature at which K. papavi carried their brood. According to the study authors, such a trait hasn't been seen in any insect, extinct or otherwise. Equally as important is the time period they lived in. As I mentioned earlier, these insects hailed from the Jurassic era, specifically the mid to late era. Before this discovery, the earliest known evidence of this kind of behavior in insects was from the mid Cretaceous period. This predates that by, oh, around 38 million years, give or take. 
The study authors also noted a troll-like filter capture apparatus on the Cape Pavi that could represent a very, very early version of the trapping mechanism found in creatures such as fairy shrimp. Given all of that, it's easy to see the gravity of this discovery. Going back to our hypothetical scenario at the prehistoric stream, learning this can allow us a more complete picture of what exactly that would have looked like, even if it's not the whole picture. But that's the thing about studying the distant past. The evidence is so fragmented and well hidden that little steps are often a major deal. But now I leave it up to you. What do you think of this discovery? Do you find it as fascinating as the paleontology community? Did I completely crush your dreams of having a blue of your own? Let me know down in the comments and do all that algorithmic jazz. And like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified on all our uploads. We have a Discord now where we discuss all things science and science fiction, so feel free to join and await. Oh Look at all those wonderful names. Thank you, patrons. Until next time, I'm Eric Malachite. See you. Space Cowboy.